I want to welcome everybody to uh, today's webinar uh, with our good friend and partner, Travis of um, Falls River Pharmacy. And today, along with Gina, uh, my wife, we're going to talk about a very popular topic here, and that's pharmacy delivery, and more importantly, how medications can be managed uh, together. So we'll just, uh, we'll just get started. Uh, at the beginning here, we're just going to spend a little time, really uh, about aware is going to be all of 10 seconds, and really want Travis to talk about his company, his family, what they do. They're a really great uh, pharmacy delivery. They've been doing this for a long, long time. Uh, and then talk about the services. Then we can do something really uh, unique. Uh, I'm going to flip this, uh, my Lenovo into a tablet and actually uh, film Travis doing a demonstration of how medications are delivered in a blister pack and how easy it is to take them out. So, um, and then with Gina going to Q&A about important things like how do we manage change and uh, which is a, a very popular topic and then answer any questions we have in the audience. I think we've got Denise and William uh, joining us. So we'll just give them a second here to see if they can join us. About Aware Senior Care, uh, I think people are getting to know us here in the community. We actually took over care here in the community on July 26th. And so really, it feels like years, but it's only been four weeks. Uh, but we just really appreciate having the opportunity to meet all the wonderful residents of this great community. And we provide care and what's, what's needed that you ask for in all kinds of assistance and personal and companion care. And you'll see uh, people see the little purple shirts running around the building. That is Aware Senior Care, although we have Carolina Blue and we have other colors. But uh, we're committed to uh, really providing great care here. And uh, again, it's a, it's a privilege to, to be here providing the care. So what I'd like to do is just uh, have Travis speak a little bit about Falls River. Thank you guys for tuning into this. Um, my name is Travis Holsauser and I am the pharmacist and owner of Falls River Pharmacy. Uh, we opened in 2004, uh, September 2004. Uh, we're located uh, behind Wake Med North off of Falls and Anoose Road. Um, I had worked for chain drug stores for six years before I started Falls River and uh, just working for an independent pharmacy gives you a little bit more flexibility, allows you to do things. You can notice problems in the community and with your customers and you can react to them very quickly and adapt to folks needs a whole lot quicker than if you have to go through a big corporation. And so um, it's been great the last 16 years being a community pharmacy, pharmacy and pharmacist and being able to do that. Um, personally, Abbotswood is a good fit for me because I live a hundred yards from Abbotswood. <laughs> if you guys are ever outside, you may see me walk my dog down the sidewalk on Creedmoor Road. Um, I do that pretty much every day, but uh, I live right behind Abbotswood, literally a hundred yards um, uh, from the front door. And so drive by here every day on the way home and every way on the way to work. And so we have, you know, folks here that are already using us, and I hope they're happy with our service. I don't hear complaints, and so, um, but we're always open to suggestions about how we can do things better as well. But I really appreciate the opportunity to speak to you guys and show you our med delivery uh, program today. And you can see that the number down at the bottom there, uh, you know, please take note, and I'm sure uh, it'll make, uh, Travis will mention it again, but that's the, the number of the pharmacy. And by virtue of him living so close and the pharmacy being close, you have choice in pharmacies. There's some really good pharmacies out there. Um, and, but we thought we'd introduce Travis. We, we've worked with a, a number of great pharmacies and this is one of them. So you have choice and we just wanted to introduce uh, Travis and his family, the community. You talk about Johnny on the spot. So if there's a change, I think Travis can get over here pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, some of the services that we offer. Yeah, a lot of pharmacies offer, you know, services and um and the main thing a lot of pharmacies do they just you know crank out prescription after prescription after prescription and we do we fill a lot of prescriptions but as i was mentioning earlier there are certain needs that 
folks as folks age and they get on more medications that we're just able to mobilize more quickly and meet those needs, we feel better than a lot of other pharmacies can. Some of the services that we offer, we offer home delivery of prescriptions and OTCs. Um, we make a, we try to get folks where every month, we call it our sync program, where they're getting their medications at the same time every month, uh, instead of, you know, one this day, three the next day, two the next week. We try to get everything in a synchronized so that you're getting it at the same time every month. Um, in order to do that, another service we call or that we offer if folks would like it and we like it is that when we sync people's medications up, we make a med synchronization call to these folks. We will call the patient or a caregiver if they would like us to, um, ask them if they anything has changed in their medications, um, if they need any of their PRN medications, things they take as needed, or eye drops, or inhalers, or insulin, because we're going to be bringing out all their other ones. We give them the opportunity. This process also allows us, we're looking at the medications seven days ahead of time, and so if they're out of refills on that medication, we call the doctor and get them a refill um, before it's time and they run out of the medicine. We're not gonna let anybody run out of medicine. We're gonna, we will call the doctor until we get that medication and get you a new prescription. Um, that also gives you an opportunity to ask us questions and provide us feedback on our service or any of your medications. Um, I'm gonna speak about our multi-dose packaging and show you a demonstration of that in a second, but that is basically a a disposable pill box that we pack for you instead of your medications coming to you from a pharmacy in a bottle or in a bag or a packet or something like that. It's basically a disposable pill box that you're going to punch out every day and the time of day that medication is sorted for you. You don't have to take it out of a bottle. A loved one doesn't have to take it out of a bottle and put it in a pill box for you. We're doing that for you at the pharmacy. Um, we offer immunizations. I know we've come on site here probably the last five years and done immunizations. We do diabetes care, diabetic shoes. Um, we have a great communication with the, with the physician's offices or in the area. Uh, we reach out to them. Most, a lot of them have my phone number, a lot of them have my email. And we also have a mobile app um, that you can, you, if you have a smartphone and want to download our pharmacy's app, you can see every medication you're on. You can take that to the doctor's office. Um, you can see your vaccinations all from our mobile app. Um, I said, that's, that's a brief, we're adding services all the time. We're modifying services, but those are the ones that we really try to market um, to folks uh, who are in our independent living facilities. Okay, well, that's really, that's really great. I think speaking personally, you know, my mom is in independent living and, and the medications, and I so much appreciate working with experts like, Travis to manage the complex, and they're very complex. One of them has diabetes. It has a very big list. I, 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 there's a, there's some trust. And Travis can show you a cool insert in his packet where all the medications have little pictures and you can track them there. So, what we want to do is something kind of unique. Uh, we want to go live. I'm going to flip my uh, laptop into a tablet and actually film Travis because here. What we found, and I made a lot of calls. Gina, I made, of course, we're, we're, we're learning everybody here in the community. Made a lot of phone calls. And one of the tasks that Gina gave me the first week was to call every single son and daughter uh, of residents. And I got a lot of concerns by med management standpoint. I got to get involved because I'm just concerned about change. I don't want anything to be missed. And I also heard about, well, mom's got arthritis, and it's really difficult uh, with these blister packs, and, and they go into a, a med pack, but it's actually more difficult to flip open a med pack than it is with a blister pack. So it was that that gave us an incentive to bring Travis to show you how this is. So we're, he's gonna give a demo, live demo, and then we're gonna address the key question that would be on my mind and yours, hey, that's great, but it's gonna change. How do you manage change? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that. So I'm going to start again. This is the cool thing. This is a two family businesses. And we're not we're not WIRL, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to start again, and and hopefully the audience can now see Travis. Okay, so this is typically the way that prescriptions have come from a pharmacy for numbers of years. 
folks pick up bottles or have bottles delivered. Um, you may get these two one week, these three the next week, these two the next day, and then they get these medicines home, open up the lid, take out the medicine, put them in a pill box. Um, it can be overwhelming, I mean, just to say the least. It's overwhelming for anyone, but as you age, and usually five prescriptions turn into seven, turn into 10, it gets more confusing. Um, I'm not an expert at a lot of things, but the thing I know the most about is probably pharmacy. <laughs> and so what I saw at a trade show a few years ago, and I took that idea and kind of developed it a little further, was to get rid, rid of these pill bottles. And for folks who are on multiple medications, come up with a disposable pill box. I was getting a lot of phone calls from folks um, telling me that I, we had dispensed bottles to them, they had taken the medicine, put it in a pill box, they had gotten confused putting it in the pill box, or they had dropped the pill box and the medicines went everywhere and they had to reorganize it. So we developed this idea of we call it an RX map because a map, you know, kind of guides you to a place. And this is like a pill box. It's just like your plastic pill box that you may be using. It's got every day of the week and every time of the day uh, listed inside. So you see Sunday right here, all these meds across the top are Sunday's meds. They're Sunday morning, Sunday at noon, Sunday evening, and Sunday at bedtime. And what you do, these come to you, they're delivered exactly like this. There's no taking it out of bottles. There's no um, having to have a family member or yourself or another caregiver sort it for you. They come exactly like this. So if it was Sunday at noon um, and you were starting this pack Sunday at noon, uh, all you would do is come find Sunday and go across and find noon and you can get a paper plate, um, a cup, a little, you know, a souffle cup, a dosing cup. And all you have to do is put your thumb on top of this packet and just push through and the medicine comes out. You can put your hand behind it if you want to and catch it, but I recommend getting like a paper plate or something and the medicine comes out. The, it's really easy. It's a whole lot easier than open a pill bottle. Um, it, it's, it's just really easy to use. The great thing about this is, is that if you take that medicine, but later in the day, you're like, man, did I, it has to be evening time, did I take my new medicine? I can't remember if I've taken it or not. I mean, everybody has that. I mean, I have that issue and I don't take a lot, but I still have that issue. Did I take my medicine? If you open this back up and you're like, did I take my new medicine? You can see the pocket's empty. You know you've taken it. If the pocket was full, you knew you did not take it, but this, this allows you to, you don't have to remember that, you just know that you've taken it. Also, if you've got this sitting on the counter and you drop it, you shake it, there's nothing gonna happen. Uh, these are sealed in there. They're not gonna move around. They're not gonna jump around. Um, I've got, and the pockets are very deep. Another feature about this cube is that I've got one patient that has 17 morning medications and they all fit in this pocket. Uh, they, they all fit in that pocket. Um, and it's, it's just really easy. It's really easy to use. Um, another feature that we, we have that we put on here, instead of having prescription labels, this comes with every one of these pill packs. If you look, it's got the doctor's name, it's got a picture of the medicine, it's got what it is, the directions, and over here it's got a description of the pill. It tells what it looks like, but it also has the markings of it. And it also, on this side, it says how many you're taking and the time of day that you are taking it, how it's put into the pill pack. Um, so if, for instance, um, in the morning, if you're like, what is that red pill? I've, I've never seen the red pill that's in all my morning packets. You can flip this open. The easiest way is just find the picture of the red pill and you go over and you can see what it is, how you take it, um, and, based, and even the prescriber, the doctor that prescribed it. And what I love about this, and I never thought about this when we first started putting this together and developing this sheet. And we, we developed this sheet, but 
if you notice, this person probably has 10 medications on this sheet. There are six different doctors. So if you have a doctor's appointment, you can take this sheet out of this packet and take it to your doctor. And when your doctor asks you the list of medications you're on, you can show them this list. You don't have to have a handwritten note, a copy of anything. You can tear this out of the pill packet. If you've still got pills in here, you can just carry the packet with you. And you can take this and every physician you know, they're all synced up. Uh, they know exactly what you're on. We're good at catching drug interactions, but maybe you're gonna be getting prescribed something new and interacts with one of these medicans, medications. The doctors can catch that ahead of time instead of us catching it after the fact and it, it just works out well. It saves time it's an and it's efficient. Um, but this comes in every single one of these that we uh, dispense to you um, has one of these sheets in there. Um, and I've been made aware the most common question that folks receive is what happens if you dispense these and then I go to the doctor, the doctor comes and sees me, what happens if there's a change in medication? So I'm gonna give a a scenario. So if you go to the doctor and they change your blood pressure medicine after we've already sent this pack out, if you've taken the old medicine for a week and they take away two blood pressure medicines and add a new one, what we do is we contact um, Gina or Tim or they contact us or you or you make us aware of it. We're made aware of the change. We pack up new cards for you with the change someone will take your old packs down at the front desk here, leave them there. We will bring out new packs to you and just switch them out. Um, there's no us getting the packs back, taking the old medicine out of the packs we've already dispensed, changing it and bringing you back the same packs. That's, that just takes too much time in our opinion. Um, with me living right here, it's real easy with our delivery service. It's real easy for me just to, give you guys a new pack, a correct pack, bring it, leave it at the front desk, take the old pack back with us. Um, simple as that. Uh, it's really easy. It's really, um, it's not time consuming at all. We get you your medicine, uh, hopefully that exact same day. If everything, you know, if everything happens in a timely manner, it should be that exact same day. I think, you know, um, first question, how much do you service this service cost a family? This service costs $20 a month which is $5 a week or 67 cents a day. We've broken it down from every single, <laughs> from every single point of view. And so <laughs> to me, um, that's worth it. And basically that's just charging us, basically we're just getting compensated for the time that we take to just manage this. We, we're not trying to get rich off doing this. It's just the thing that it takes us time to fill the packs, to manage the packs, to organize with the doctors and the care staff, the changes. And that's basically just our break even point with doing this for folks and just, you know, running things back and forth because changes are going to happen. And, you know, we're not going to charge you every time we repack it. Um, it's just a monthly charge. That's in sales. We call that a no brainer. <laughs> yes. So as at aware, we offer medication management also. So people have asked us, well, why are you talking to the pharmacy if that's something that we offer? Um, honestly, we believe that we should let experts, uh, handle the departments that they handle. We handle the care part of it. So our the cost to have aware do the the medication management is is a lot more. It's seventy five dollars every two weeks. So that's why we think um, for the best value and actually the best service is really let the pharmacists do the medication management. And we're here for the medication reminders. Our aides can still pop the pills out of those blister packs. They're fabulous. Um, they don't have to worry about knocking the, blister, the pill boxes over and spilling them. So, so we really, really endorse the, the blister right. packs. And if you, if we go on that, so you're probably saying you're talking yourself out of business. We're, <laughs> we're just firm believers in doing the right thing. Right. And having, right. Uh, that was one of our first order of priorities, saving families money yes. with medications. Right. And, and that's what this does. And, when you do visits and we have a seven minute visit for med reminders, this is part of it. There's no extra charge. Right. You're, it's, it's $20 a month. I, I just think it's amazing um, that this service is available to you all with a, a family owned and locally owned company. And um, 
and, it, and I wanted you to see how easy it is and how to, easy it is to pop that out. I think even with arthritis, I mean, it, you, it's not a, you can actually take a little pen or something and prick it if you, if you yeah, want to get right. seal, mm -hmm. but it, it's very easy. So, um, you know, thank you, Travis. I thank think you. I, I'm going to flip back to our press and then we're basically going to, we're, we're really, I wanted to open up to the, uh, to the audience that was kind enough to join us. So just give me a second here. Let's see, and I am going to, let's go share screen again. Back to that frustrated lady, but we have just solved her <laughs> problem. We have just, we just, we just totally out all over it, thanks to, to Travis. So um, let me, let me just get this slideshow going. Some slideshow, there we are. Yeah, we're, we're basically at that Q&A. There's one, let me see, I think we've got, we're kind of short staffed today, so someone's chatting with me. Let's see what the chat says. Chat. Oh, we got a really nice. So thank you for all you're doing. Things are going great. Thank you. That Hefner said we all do this was we all we had to do was pin Travis to make him the feature. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's oh, this is great. Um, okay, let me just get the chat. Let me get. Um, chat. I got to learn how to unmute everybody, William. And, Please, audience, unmute yourself, and because uh, I really want. Um, so, Mike, I would ask the question: Well, how do I get started? <laughs> um, great question. Anybody can call me anytime. Um, <laughs> I've got the phone number to the pharmacy is uh, in the slideshow, um, but it is my phone number is nine one nine eight four four two zero five five. You know, we're online. Check our Google reviews. You know, I, I encourage people to do that to see what folks say about us. Um, and you know, to get started, all you have to do is contact me, and we'll walk you through it. it it's really easy. We we do. If you give us the go ahead, we'll do most of the work um, between Tim and Gina, and working with your physicians, um, we'll get everything started. It's really easy. We can have you up and running in, in no time. I think really easy. You can see one of the motivations Gina and I had when I was looking, when I first came in and I saw Gina, one day I came in and there was bags of medications on her desk and I, it was an out-of-body experience. And, and I thought, the more we can rely on a partner like Chaps do this, the more we can provide care and really focus that instead of having an RN sorting pills into med reminder boxes. Um, and if that's what you all want, we can do it. Uh, that, and sometimes that may make sense. Um, but... I think it's a great service that Travis provides. Uh, how to, you know, in terms of contacting where, um, you could send actually an email to us at abbotswood at awareskinger.com saying, hey, I'm interested to learn more about med management. And either our, our community care coordinator, either Christina Veronica will contact you or nursing Gina will contact you. And we can actually create visits for med reminders. Um, or if you want to have the med service that Gina mentioned, we could talk about uh, doing that. Um, really, it's, it's, it's that easy. Let me just check chat again. Um, oh, I see. Thank you, Denise, you're at a public space. I got it. Um, the bulk of what my mom takes is supplements rather than a regular prescription. Mm -hmm. um, it is good to know this is available to our family system. Um, oh, great. Well, thank you. you really, yeah, it, it, it's it's an amazing, there's such amazing resources in our community, you know, that do these little things that mean so much to families because the whole objective is that if I'm a son, like for my mom, I just want to be the son and not really the caregiver per se or managing medications. I just want to focus on my mom. So I'm sure everybody on this is, is kind of the same thing. Um, we do get that question about supplements and over the counter medicine. And well, we please, will, yeah. we will take those and put them in these packs along with the, the prescriptions. Um, what we do, we also let the doctor know uh, that the folks are on this OTC because there are some drug interactions there. So we do let the doctor know that, um, that the person's on this and we get, an, it's not really a prescription from the doctor, but it's an order from the doctor. And so we put those in these packs and we can intermingle those with the RX medications as well. I think I think we covered the the most important thing. I think 
If you want to learn more about Travis, uh, the, the number is in the presentation. This is recorded. So we will be pushing this recording out to all Abbotswood residents uh, to view again and call Travis. You take care of you, call us between the two of us uh, and you. We will set up a program that works for everybody. So um, Travis did a great job. He was a little nervous, by the way. He came with <laughs> lots of notes, but I just say, just be yourself. And, you know, you're, you're great. Um, so I want to thank you. Thank you for your time. Um, and thank you, the audience. Uh, Denise, uh, you know, thank you for your, your great comments. And um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I don't have a camera. Oh, that's, oh that's is that awesome. William? Yes. William, do you have any, any questions that we need to address? I loved it. Uh, well, well, thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, everybody have a great week. Uh, I can't believe it's Thursday. I, I kind of lost track of days. But, uh, have a great day. We'll see you all later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.